Hey everybody, this is Matt here again with Shaving the Day, and I'm doing travel shave number two, um, except today is the day that I'll be going home from St. Louis, and it was an amazing trip. We did a lot of really fun things. I would definitely say St. Louis is an underrated city. Um, I would come back here for several things. Um, it was just a lot of fun and really, really good to get away. Um, we went to some great restaurants, a couple diners, drive-ins and dives. One of them that I mentioned in my last video, Antonino's Taberna. We actually went back to because it was that good and I would come to St. Louis just to get that Italian food. It's the best I've ever had by far. Um, really can't recommend it enough. If you're in the area, it's worth stopping by. It's worth the wait. Definitely, definitely give it a chance. Um, we also saw the Gateway Arch and went up in it, which was a really unique experience and cool. Um, checked that national park off my list. Um, went on a riverboat tour on the Mississippi River, um, so you could overlook Illinois on one side and then Missouri and St. Louis on the other side, which was very cool. Uh, we did a tour of the Anheuser Busch factory, which was very, very fun and uh, very interesting. Um, and yeah, we just did a lot of really fun things. Um, checked some things off of our list that we wanted to do, and it's just fun to get away, explore a really, really unique and cool city. So happy with how it went. And I stopped by the Sudsy Soapery, which has a storefront, but not in a building. They have um, a stand open at um, Soulard's Farmer's Market here. And I picked up this soap lavender and peppermint and I'm lucky that I was able to pick that up because um, he only brought three soaps, shaving soaps, to the stand. I guess they don't normally sell any there. Um, they didn't have any aftershave splashes so I wish I would have reached out to him sooner <clears throat> beforehand and then maybe he would have brought some other stuff. Um, but I did order the matching aftershave splash online because I don't like having a soap without the matching splash. I wanna keep smelling like it after I'm done shaving. So um, yeah, lavender and peppermint smells really, really clean and fresh. And I did go ahead and lather it up here already and it looks fantastic. Look at that. Very, very easy to lather, it takes a lot of water um, and it smells great. The lavender is definitely coming through stronger on the soap after it's lathered than just smelling it out of the tub. And I'm excited to use it. So I'm gonna wet my face here and then I'll lather up. All right, let's get started here. And this is the, um, the all natural super creamed triple butter shaving soap. I think they also have like a mango butter one and some other kind. Um, but triple butter sounds good to me and as you can see the lather is very slick and protective. It was very easy to lather. Did not take much time at all and the lather was exploding up over the sides of the sterling collapsible bowl. Um, so this video will kind of be a little bit of an artisan highlight too. Um, I did take some videos and pictures, well actually my, my fiance did, um, of the stand at the farmer's market and some of the products, so I'll include those right now. so you guys can see oh I can feel the tingling of the peppermint which is always nice love peppermint oil
All right, and I'm using the Gillette Heritage Razor with a second use uh, lowered platinum blade. Ooh, very good um, residual slickness there on that soap. I've got about three days growth here, so pretty heavy beard growth. Tons of whiskers coming off on that when I rinse it. I would say the scent strength coming off the top is like a like out of ten would be maybe like a six, six and a half. So somewhere in the middle. I don't know if anyone has ever heard of Ted Drew's frozen custard. Apparently it's like a very, very popular, famous thing in St. Louis. Um, they're known for frozen custard and Christmas trees, apparently. Um, we were going to stop by there last night, because it was our last night, and uh, we got there around, I don't know, maybe somewhere between 9.30 and 10.30. And there were like, there had to be over a hundred people there, like maybe 150 people, and there were like 12 windows to get ice cream, but every single window had a long line. It was just crazy. I've never seen something like that. So we didn't end up getting it, but it made me think, wow, that must have been good because Ted Drew's even has their own gift shop. You know your ice cream's gotta be something special if you have a gift shop. Sorry if I look really tired, it's because I am. Um, I'm exhausted. I can see some pretty dark circles in my eyes. I didn't sleep very well, guys. Now, the gateway arch was crazy because um, they literally put you in like these pods, almost like the the way to get to the top. The engineering system involved is a combination of a ferris wheel, an escalator, and an elevator. So you're in this pod that like is on a on wires, cables, and then it's able to stay, um, I should say, yeah, in the position it needs to, even though you're going up straight and on an angle, and it's really interesting. And then when you get to the top, the windows are so small to look out because apparently if, if they're any bigger. They wouldn't be able to stand the pressure um, probably the winds are super high up there it's 630 feet high so the views are really amazing and i'll, I'll include some of the pictures that i took right here too
All right, I'm gonna rinse off and then relather for the second time. All right, let's relather. Really, really nice soap, guys. You should check out their website if you're interested. They don't have that many scents. Um, but the ones that they do have, um, the three that I smell were very, very nice. A lot of them are kind of minty scents. If you like that, if you're looking for that. I talked to uh, the owner, I don't remember his name, but he was very nice. They sell a lot of good moisturizing products and lotions and bath soaps and fragrance oils, essential oils, lip gloss, um, other beauty products. So it's not just shaving stuff or bath soap, they have a lot of different cosmetic things. The green. On the way back home this morning, we're stopping in Springfield, Illinois to hit one more diners, drive-ins, and dives. It's called Charlie Parker's and it's a breakfast place that's currently known for huge portions. So looking forward to that and probably definitely having some leftovers. Have you guys have been to any diners, drive-ins, and dives? Let me know in the comments which ones and if you enjoyed them. So Antonino's Taverna was definitely some of the best food I've ever had in my entire life. Um, I got the chicken parmesan last night and it was, it was just ridiculously good. Way better than any other kind that I had. And their marinara sauce is like unbelievably good. They sell it in jars there and they sell it online. Um, it's just really, really good. We also went to another one called the Shaved Duck. Um, they have like these smothered fries for, for an appetizer. They have like their house-made cheese sauce on them. And those were really, really, really good. And I got a brisket burger sandwich that was excellent too. They have um, good barbecue in St. Louis and a lot of other food as well. The Antonino's Taverna is in the Italian district on a place called The Hill. So there's a lot of really good Italian restaurants, but I would recommend that one to anybody. Alright, I'm going to rinse off and relather for the last pass. Alright, so much soap left here in the bowl. Plenty for three passes.
it's a really an excellent shaving soap. I really, really enjoy the performance and so easy to lather. It's very soft soap, almost like a, for sure a croak and almost like to the point of being a cream. Trying to get as close to a BBS as I can here. Without overdoing it. That's a very, very smooth shave. That's definitely a DFS. Um, so I'm gonna rinse off and then I'll come back with the post shave. All right guys, a little bit of irritation there, but nothing that some aftershave can't solve. Um, very, very smooth shave. Very much enjoyed the performance of that soap. Would definitely recommend it. So we've got my Old Spice Splash here. I'm gonna spray on. Spray it on my hand actually. There's a burn. Definite burn, but it smells good though. Whew. All right, and then on top of that. Duke Cannon Ice Cold Aftershave Balm. Let's go very generously on that. Because it just feels so good with the menthol. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the next time I use this soap, I Hope to pair it with the matching aftershave and let you know my thoughts on that. Uh, had a great time again here in St. Louis. Looking forward to going home um, and getting back to the shave den. Um, but very much enjoyed um, my time here and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'll catch you in the next one.